hello everyone welcome once again to my channel i hope you guys are well in this video we're going to be looking at raspberry pi and how you can install visual studio code on it so stay tuned hello once again yeah so as you can see right in front of me we've got raspberry pi on wikipedia and this actually tells us you know what it's all about basically it's actually um, a series of small single board computers uh, developed in the uk in the united kingdom and this actually allows um you know us to be able to promote teaching you know to teach basic computer science in schools and in developing countries so you can actually get yourself one of this if you don't have a computer or you don't have a desktop and you just want something that you can use because i know some of you guys are watching me from your mobile phone and you're like i don't have you know i don't have all the money to do you know to to start coding or to get the machine to start coding but i'm telling you the good news is you can actually get one of this thing and this raspberry pi is actually quite cheap actually and if you check on, so I've got this place where I buy my, you know, my Raspberry Pi you know, gadgets from, which is called India yeah, in South Africa, by the way, because I'm in South Africa. So I use this uh, actual platform. And by the way, they're not sponsoring this video. So <laughs> this is just me showing you where I buy my stuff from. So this actual uh, platform, this is where I actually buy, I bought my, you know, the, the past Raspberry Pis that I've actually used and yeah you can actually see right there it's actually just um two two thousand two hundred rands to actually get a full kit and this actual full kit includes um like all the necessary things that you need it, it includes the actual um actual device itself so as well as you've got a case you've got a beginner's guide you've got a keyboard and a mouse which is good and you get white power supply um also you've got um the the two micro hdmi sockets and then as well as um you've got a micro sd card as well where you can actually load up your operating system okay so in this actual video i'm going to be showing you how you can actually just you know um you know set up visual studio code on it and then you can start writing code actually isn't that amazing so actually you can see here that this is actually very it's quite cheap you know to get yourself a four gig four gig ram um, computer and the good thing about this um microcomputer is that you can plug this actual microcomputer to your tv or to any monitor you can actually plug it to whatever you want to plug it to and also just make sure that you uh, make sure you buy a heatsink actually before i forget because i think in some cases they might not add a heatsink to it uh let's see yeah you you need to buy um, a, this actual heatsink this one so just make sure you buy it because that is what you can put on top of your raspberry pi to make sure that it doesn't overeat or you can also buy um, a fan to you know to cool it down i think this one is actually really cool so you can buy that one or yeah you can buy that one this actual um this this actual fan just to cool it down you can see it's just 200 rands and it is very very you know easy to to start up and boot up you can connect this thing right on top of your of your of your actual raspberry pi once you get it and this actually helps it to cool down easily and also i just want to mention that um so if we do like a conversion we can actually do like a conversion from um so let's say everything costs you like 2004 rands in dollars how much is that actually you can see everything actually costs you roughly like 160 let's say 63 or 64 dollars which is quite really you know reasonable for you to have a machine that you can use to start you know doing developments and and also you can see here on the requirements you can see that the actual requirement for visual studio code is just one gig ram so which means with a four gig ram um, raspberry pi you're actually good to go you can actually do a lot actually a lot you can you can actually do a lot we're just having that and and basically what i've done is i've actually already set up uh 
uh, I've set up a, a basic um, Raspberry Pi, which we can just run through and see how you can install your Visual Studio code on it and you can see what it looks like. So let's just switch to that. As you can see here, yeah, um, the actual Raspberry Pi um, has a documentation um, for Visual Studio Code installation. And what we want to do is we just want to make sure that we can install, you know, this amazing um, IDE on top of our Raspberry Pi raspberry pi so you can actually start you know doing some stuff so what we want to do is installation you can see there that we just have to run you know this command that we've got here so let's open up our terminal and then we just run sudo app and then let's say update first just to update our actual um, raspberry pi and then um, the next thing we want to do is sudo app install code so that would actually get our our um our actual visual studio code installed on the raspberry pi um this should actually take like roughly i don't know maybe like two minutes or, or thereabout but i just want to also just make sure that i point you guys in this um, actual direction which is this information in terms of making sure that um you guys can you know you guys have the right information as to what you need so if you check right here in terms of the actual raspberry pi you need to make sure that um you know you you get it from this place because they already help you to do the installation of the actual raspberry pi operating system which is the os because there are some places where you buy it from where you would need to install it by yourself. You would need another computer to be able to, you know, to load it onto that micro SD card. And if you just want to save yourself the stress of that, um, I would rather suggest that you buy it from here. Because with that, let me just zoom so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see here, that actual SD card that will come with the actual package already has that. So just make sure that you buy it from um this actual platform because they already do the installation from you so you don't really need a computer to do the you know installation of the operating system on your by yourself because you might not have a computer all you have is this raspberry pi and you just want to plug and play and just start using it um so let's just jump right back into that installation i think it's done now as you can see it's really it's actually done now and let's just open come down here to programming and as you can see here is our visual studio let's click on that and what do you see visual studio code <laughs> isn't that amazing huh you can have different teams i guess yeah light high contrast whatever whatever works for you whatever floats your boat but this is what it is right and um i hope you guys enjoy this video um, you know, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's Code with Femi, and also try to let's comment, let's you know, let's have a discussion around this. Uh, if you feel like there's something you want me to show, please let me know. But now you know where to get a cheap computer so you can actually start development work, right? <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Keep well.